Y'all, like, please take this seriously. Activists in the Congo have been trying for years to get people to listen. And it's like breaking my heart because nobody's listening. These past few weeks, videos have been going viral talking about what's happening in the Congo. And yes, these videos are great. I even with this thread on my own Twitter, you can see like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people saw it. That's great. I directed people towards international aid organizations and Congolese aid organizations. It did a whole thread about the background. But there are Congolese organizations that have literally been trying and trying to get their voices heard. And it's just it's just fucking criminal that they haven't. It's horrible. Like there's this great organization called Crisis in the Congo. This is the name of the documentary film they made. They're an incredible organization and they've been like tweeting actively for literally 10 years and they only have this small amount of followers. Their tweets don't get any engagement and they've been trying to get people to watch this documentary film that they made to understand the background of what has happened in the Congo. And the film is like available for free. Like there's just, please amplify this. Please go follow them. Go retweet everything they've ever tweeted. Go watch this film. It is harrowing and it is an excellent background into like what is going on in the Congo. And please just amplify this organization. There's also this incredible group called Congo Friends which since 2008 has been trying on Twitter to get the word out about what is happening. And I just see like, I've seen so many threads of people saying, what's going on in the Congo? What's happening? We don't understand. And these orgs are going into these conversations saying, here, here's a resource. Here, watch this film. Here, watch this interview. This is what's happening. And people just ignore them. No one clicks it. No one likes it. No one retweets it. That's fucking sick. Like these people are trying their hardest to let you know what is happening. They are working really hard to share the resources and to help people understand on the ground like what is going on. And it's just breaking my heart how few people have seen this film. This film has been available for free on YouTube for over 10 years. I mean, videos about Palestine are getting millions and millions of views. And this has been online for like 15 years and it's only cracked 400,000 views. That's crazy. Like we need to boost this. We need to go watch this, tweet this, make videos about it, share it with your friends. Like this is just so sad. Like this is literally a silent genocide. These people like have been telling us like, please help us. Like, like this is what's happening. They're killing us. They're, it's just, it may, it's like breaking my heart because it's like, why aren't people listening? There are organizations and activists and people who are doing their best to write articles and do newscasts and at great personal risk. Like I was just reading the French translation of one of these threads and someone was like, what we need is like how they do with Palestine where it's like people on the ground. And this woman was writing like in French because a lot of people in the Congo speak French because it's like a colonized country, you guys. And she was like, it's it's not that easy. Like people can't just like record their lives. Like not that many people even have cell phones. Not that many people have access to social media. And people that do like are literally killed. Like people are targeted by the government and by the M23 militia group. And it's just heartbreaking. It's like, they're giving you the resources they can to learn about this. And why can't we just respect that, learn from what they're sharing and advocate for them? It's literally these US, France, these Western powers and these huge tech companies that are just like torturing these people. And it's like blowing my mind. One, that so few people talk about it. So few people cover it in the media, but that we're not listening to the Congolese people themselves who are like trying it. It's just too fucking much. Like the least, like the fucking least we can do is amplify every fucking thing that they're putting out, like watching their documentaries, like sharing it with people we know, making videos about it. Like that's the very least we can do when we literally with blood money are buying iPhones that are made from like their people's slavery. It seriously is breaking my heart. Please like continue to like amplify any videos of people talking about it because awareness is super, super big. Like I'm not trying to denigrate that. I myself am going to keep doing that because I think that you should meet people in whatever connection point that you can find them. So like if people are following a celebrity and a celebrity is talking about Congo, make sure you share that video nonstop because like whatever is going to get eyes on this, get attention on this. But always first and foremost, we should be centering Congolese voices, Congolese filmmakers, Congolese authors, people like on the ground who are literally telling us their story and are asking for help. And it's so great how amazing you guys have been for Palestine, but it's just like, that is, it's horrible, but like, that's not the only crisis happening in the world. And we have to hold more space for our heart, for other crises going on around the world. Like, 
I haven't even talked about Sudan yet. Like there's so much shit going on in this world. And like we have to, as free people, continue advocating for all of the people who are currently facing oppression, especially at the hands of like our, our own government. It's not like, oh my gosh, there's like, you know, obviously conflicts in every country and around the world, but it's like, this is like our government that's doing this. We can't like, this is literally like the United States' fault.